the Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. I've enjoyed reminding you of that, of saying that together throughout these Sundays of Easter that draw to a close. And I want to look forward uh, this Thursday as, as we look forward to weekend and worship. I want to look forward. I usually look back at one of the scripture readings, but I'm today I'm looking forward to a reading that, Lord willing, we will hear together this coming Sunday, the festival of Pentecost. Holy Spirit coming. Resurrection Spirit is what I have entitled our devotion for today. And I invite you to listen to a portion of our first reading from Acts chapter 2. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel, and in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you're going to hear that this Sunday, that festival when we celebrate, oh, I call it the birthday of the church, uh, when the Holy Spirit comes and breathes the fire of his love, the, the life of, of faith, brings that to us. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved, and we do. We call upon the name of the Lord because the, the Lord has first called you and me, given us life. Oh, as Luther explains it, in when he's teaching on the Apostles' Creed, the third article, I believe in the Holy Spirit, he helps us to understand what we're saying there is that we believe that we cannot, by our own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ or come to him. But the Holy Spirit has called us by the gospel, enlightened us with his gift, sanctifies and keeps us in the one true faith. And so Pentecost is that day when we celebrate the Holy Spirit, we call on the Holy Spirit to come, to show up and show off, I once heard someone say, and, and to do so not to take center stage, but to, for you and me to behold and to worship him who is always at the center, always center stage, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord who has died, the Lord who has risen, the Lord who is coming again. And because he ascended, because he is in heaven, he keeps his promise and sends us the Holy Spirit so that we believe, so that we can call upon the name of the Lord, so that we know his presence, his peace, his power through his word in your baptism and in the Lord's Supper the power of God that continues to be ours. We rejoice in that. We worship the Lord. We continue to say, come Lord Jesus. And on this particular coming Sunday, we'll say it a bunch of times to come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. And so I invite you to listen to a couple of verses from the Pentecost section of our hymnal, and this hymn entitled, Holy Spirit, Light Divine. Holy Spirit, Light Divine, shine upon this heart of mine, chase the shades of night away, turn the darkness into day. Holy Spirit, power divine, cleanse this guilty heart of mine. In thy mercy pity me, from sin's bondage set me free. Holy Spirit, joy divine, Cheer this saddened heart of mine. Yield a sacred, settled peace. Let it grow and still increase. Holy Spirit, all divine, dwell within this heart of mine. Cast down every idle throne. Reign supreme and reign alone. We pray. By the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, we pray to you, we come to you to praise you, to surrender to you, to say, use us. Use us to continue to shine the light of your Spirit, the power of your Word in our lives and through our lives and love this day and always. And to you, O Lord, as always, be all the glory and power and honor and might and worship now and forever. Amen. 
God's blessings to you on this weekend. And oh, I look forward to seeing you and I invite you to wear something red. Wear red clothing as we celebrate the festival of Pentecost together. And I look forward to being with you again in this devotion time one final week next week.